We'll take a quick look in this video how to reset a Cisco phone back to factory defaults, specifically some considerations if you're running into issues with this procedure. So we want to start off by powering off the phone. Typically, we'll go ahead and unplug the RJ45 Ethernet cable if the phone is PoE powered to power it off for about five seconds. If the phone is powered via AC adapter, then we're going to disconnect the AC adapter for five seconds. And with the phone in the off state now, we're going to hold down the hash key. And we're going to keep holding down the hash key while we actually power on the phone. This part might be a little bit tricky and you may need to use both hands. So one hand you hold down the hash key and then the second hand you'll go ahead and plug in the RJ45 cable if it's a PoE based phone or you're going to plug in the AC adapter if it's using an AC adapter. And then while we're holding down the hash key, we're going to wait until the headset key, as shown in illustration here, turns on green and then we're going to right away release the hash key and in a rapid fashion we're going to type in 123456789 asterisk zero hash and at this point of time the phone should initiate the factor reset it's going to take about 1.5 minutes for the factor reset to complete if that method does not work then there's another possible method that you may want to try and in this method what we're going to basically do is most of it will be the exact same the difference is going to be when to release the actual hash key. So we're going to start off again by disconnecting the RJ45 cable from the phone if it's PoE powered and wait about five seconds. If the phone is powered via AC adapter, we're going to disconnect the AC adapter for about five seconds. We're going to hold down the hash key and we're going to keep holding down the hash key while we power on the phone. However, this time what we're going to do is we're going to wait until we see the following events or pattern. So initially we'll see the headset key will turn on green. So the headset key right here will turn on green for a few seconds. Then we're going to continue waiting and then we'll see the headset key on the phone will turn off for a few seconds. And we'll keep on waiting and then we'll see the headset key on the phone will turn on a second time. And at that point of time, we want to release the hash key. And in a rapid fashion, we want to type in 123456789 asterisk zero hash. And at this point of time, the phone will initiate the factor reset. And it'll take about 1.5 minutes for the factor reset to occur. One thing to keep in mind is if this phone is running MPP firmware and you've configured a profile on WebEx Control Hub. One thing to be aware, the phone when it is factor reset, it will do a handshake with WebEx Control Hub and pull down a config. And it will actually lock the phone again as far as the admin account if you're trying to get into admin account. So if your obje objective for resetting the phone to factor default is to access the phone's admin account and whatever you need to do on the phone, update the firmware, or whatever you're trying to achieve, you probably want to make sure that the phone is not, does not have a profile in WebEx Control Hub or put the phone in an isolated network. For example, a PoE switch that does not have internet access, isolated VLAN that is not routable to internet, inline mid-span injector, also known as a PoE injector, again, is isolated, does not have internet access. Now we're going to take a look at the menu system on a 3PCC phone that does not have admin password set. So we went under settings. Then we're going to go down to the bottom here where it says device administration. Then we're going to go to the factory reset. And you're going to notice is it will not ask us for admin password. So we can just press OK to factory reset. This is also a good tattletale sign that if you think you reset the phone to factory default using one of the other methods we looked at, you should come back and be able to do this without having the phone ask for actual admin password. 
So again, if the phone does not have an admin password, you can very easily reset it to factory default via the LCD menu, also known as the TUI telephony user interface. And the factor reset typically takes about a minute and a half for the phone to re reset itself back to factory default. Okay, next we're going to look at an enterprise phone. We're going to hit the settings button. We're going to go under admin settings. And then we're going to go to the bottom here, reset settings. And we're going to do all settings. And we're going to confirm reset for the phone to reset all settings. And again, this is going to take about 1.5 minutes. I did actually uh, cut down the video, so the video is not as long that it would be in real time. So be aware some things are occurring a little bit faster here than normally. Okay, so this last one we'll take a look at is actually registered to WebEx calling. We'll go under settings. We're going to go down to device administration. Then we're going to go down to factor reset and notice it's asking us for a password. So in this case, we would not be able to reset this phone through the LCD, also known as the TUI telephone user interface, because it, the admin account is locked via machine generated password. So we would want to use one of the other techniques we looked at earlier. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it helps you with resetting Cisco IP phones back to factor defaults. Thank you.